agreed together he was going to do this show. So I will continue to support him throughout the show. However, you know, I did sort of say that if it came to next year or the year after and he wanted to compete again, it's something we would have to sit down and have a serious conversation about. And when I explained all the reasons why, Paul did completely understand. And how much pressure him competing is putting me under. And there's only so many years you can keep giving that sort of support to someone. You know, it comes a time where enough's enough. Now it's time to concentrate on the family. I think it just comes to a time where I just think the amount that it takes out of you, which then evidently takes out of the family, is too much for what you get out of it. I think this year I've just realised that, yes, I love to compete. I love the end part. I love standing on stage. But what I have to give and what it takes from the family, now my family's getting older, what it takes from the family is not worth those five minutes on stage. After chatting together um, and taking everything into consideration, um, this year will be my final year on stage. I'm going to um, properly retire from competitive bodybuilding. I'll, I'll still be training. I'm sure I'll still be weighing my food out, but um, this will be my final year. The, the NABBA Britain will be my final NABBA show. I'm not going to tell Tom that this is my final NABBA show. Um, I'm going to leave that until after the Britain and then let him know. You know, I, I obviously don't want him to let me win because um, it's my final year or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I, I just don't, you know, I don't, he doesn't need to know. It's, it's, it's one of those things. I'm sure, um, you know, he, he'll stand by me, you know, he'll agree with it and what have you. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna, gonna leave it until after the burn and then let him know. UK bodybuilding is in crisis. With growing numbers of competitors opting for more accessible fitness-based competitions, and with controversy and discourse within the established federations in the UK, traditional bodybuilding is at risk of being squeezed out. But after three years away from the sport, two veterans of the UK bodybuilding scene are out to prove they'll do whatever it takes to win a British title. I'm gonna to have to go Team Tom at this point, but don't tell him that. <coughs> There's always competition, isn't there? But that makes you want to be better. He's judging, you can see he's still got the passion for it, and he still wants to be up there. Ah! Come on. Oh, yeah. Does Daddy get grumpy when he's dieting? I have more titles than Tom. This is not following a diet. This is not getting fit. This is not drugs doing the work. This is whatever it takes. This is prep. It's show day, and in the car, Tom is already on the phone to Paul. How are you feeling? Yeah, all right, I've still got to go out and I've got my stomach, but there's calm from the morning How yeah. are you? I'm feeling all right, mate. I'm down to 2.02. Um, I took some pictures this morning, and yeah. just like you said with yours about the lighting and stuff, you know, I'm too dark. It, it, the, the lighting's not strong enough, it just washes me out. But, yeah, um, yeah it, I just need to uh, fill out a little bit more. But that was always the uh, case with Phil being there. He says, yeah, yeah. He says he's going to get there about 12. Well, the West Breton is um, it's an area qualifier for the Nabba Bretons. Um, it's been going, phew, God, longer than I've been competing. Um, so, much more than three decades. But the first bodybuilding show I actually went to ever was the West when it was held in Bath. So the West was my first show I ever went to see. 
but it's my show, it's my local show, and I've never lost it. There you go. Love Yeah. First time up. On stage, you're walking on for your music. Uh, walking on. Walking on. I've got this morning, I was very dry, but flat. So, we need to carb up, but using carbs that are very quick into the system and, and a bit of fats as well, because there's a little bit of water around my midsection. So, but a bit of food in, which is fast digested. High guys to make. The goat's in, water pulls in and hopefully I'll fill out a bit more. We're all ready. I think Tom's a little bit nervous and overtired, but we're good. And I got front row seats. <laughs> but you think he's ready? As Paul finishes his turn, he gets some bad news about his coach, Phil. When we um, parked up, we found out that Phil Lurney, um, obviously Paul's coach, had broken down. Where are you? Nightmare. He's just given me some instructions and then I'll follow the instructions and go from there. Him being here was always a bonus anyway, so um, there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is, really. So it's not gonna affect you. Well, it can't. It can't affect me. Otherwise 17 weeks of dieting is all down the swanny. So. so I think that has knocked him a little bit. But with Paul, he doesn't always tend to show quite how anxious or stressed he is about things. It was just one of those can only happen to me, you know, moments. Would him being there change the outcome? No, I don't think so. Despite being his competition, Tom offers to oversee Paul's final card. It was broke down, yeah, so um, I'm going to wait for him to get tanned and I'll go and have a look at him and see what he sort of thinks. Um, but I've done this before with Paul, because um, I normally help him prep this show, as in backstage prep. Because me and Paul never competed against each other, I've always, if I could, have gone to the West and helped him with his backstage prep. That's always been something I've done. It's all right, I'm just going to the film, really. So, you know. On the bright side, I've got two tickets if anybody wants them. Well, we went out a look um, in, the, in the fire exit, um, and there's a certain amount of light there, which is, which is quite good to see the, uh, uh, the, the condition. And, um, and, and all Paul did was pull a few poses, and it was, it was quite evident that while he was, while he was full and he was quite dry, he didn't have enough carbs in his muscle um, to, 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 to really sort of fully uh, hit the pose. So what Paul needs to do is have a bit more carbs. To, um, to pull some water in and fill out a bit more. Tom looked at me and Tom verified what I thought, that I needed uh, uh, more carbs to pull in. I wasn't spilling, you know, I wasn't spilling as the water coming out of the muscle, I, I just needed to drag the water in. This is ridiculously fucking sticky. If you took all those annoying children's programmes like Hey Jesse and those other stupid things that my kids watch, melted them down, and all the annoying goodness that, and the happiness that was in that program was condensed through a filter, and then you had to eat it. That's what it'd be like. We attempted to do that by making up some branch dextrin carbs into like a gluey gloop sort of thing and get that down. But it just, I just didn't have enough time. You know, certainly just because I'm competing against him, I'm not going to go, yeah, yeah, you eat a bowl of salt, that'll help you. Um, when he eats that stuff I told him to eat, he'll be fucked, so that'll be all right. <laughs> when he eats that salt that I just dished up <laughs> with a bit of sweetener in, he'll be fine. <laughs> we'll go backstage about an hour before we do on, maybe a little bit, little bit longer. And to be honest, the reason for that Sunday will probably be so we can both just get out of speaking to anybody. Really. It seems to be a question that you always ask people when they're just about to go on stage and then their nerves are fought anyway and you know they're nervous and they've seen other guys and wondering, oh, you know, wonder what that, that bastard looks like under his stuff. And then you get someone going, oh, yeah, are you ready today? Like, well, I fucking hope so, otherwise, why would I be here? He's not very, I don't know if this is all competitors or just Paul, but he's not very sociable on competition day. I think he, he really struggled with actually having to speak to people um, and be around people. 
yeah, it does come across grumpy, but it's not about that. It's just about not having the effort to speak, just not having the effort to think. Welcome to this year's Mr. and Miss West Britain Physique Contest. So you up there, you shout for me. In most shows, um, backstage you've got um, a number of rooms and they're known as the pump-up rooms. Lots of guys in pants, uh, press-ups and whatever else with dynamo bands and pumping up and... You've got a lot of people that um, do things to, to extreme, like use things like deep heat, rattle jacks, things like that, that heat, heat the skin up but really don't do much apart from stink the place out. Oh, and then you see people with dream tan who for, for some reason, it, it seems to be an old school thing, people putting dream tan on tend to want to play patty cake on people's bodies and you see them put it on and then it's like... <laughs> um, how you put it on, you just spread it on, but then to activate the shine, you pat yourself down or you get someone to do it. Now, all you really need is someone to pat you down like that. That's all you need. But like everything around show day and the final week, there has to be extremes. I've seen guys being absolutely beaten by their tanners to get it activated. And then some old guy telling the guy, yeah, mint, mint, mint. And you look and you go, you're not mint, mate. Groans and slaps and stinks of rail jacks. And... and then there's a the smell of people out wash for three days. Um, because they've been putting their tan on manually for three days and so they haven't had a, a wash. Um, so that's nice as well. Now the West Britain is um, a pre-judge and a night show. And what that is, is we do the judging in the daytime. We come back then, normally around about six, half six, for the night show. Every show has a tunnel or a thing you walk down to get to the, the stage. It's almost like a like you see in the Gladiator films where they're walking along and it's like, you know, the crowd rah, 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 outside where it's cold and your feet are cold on the floor. And if you just blank everything else out and think about how you're gonna look on stage and how you want to look on stage, it generally takes it away from the nervousness of being on stage in front of potentially a thousand people with your pants on. You come on, you do your routine, you go off, you come back on with everybody, and you do your comparisons. Right down to the fucking tune. How much work have I done into my posing routine? Well, I'm sure you've asked Paul the same question, and he's probably said, er, I haven't done my posing routine, it's probably going to be done tonight. You'll see in a minute. I can't tell you about it, it's a secret. Of course, I have no idea. There'll be a bit of this, a bit of that. That's pretty much it. Now, for me, my posing routine is means a lot because it's our chance to show my show what I've got off and I do like doing it and I've actually won a best poser trophy at the South Coast years ago. But it looks a whole lot better than someone going and then like and then probably doing the same thing again because they can't think of what they're gonna do. Um, that sort of stuff. When you when you see people on stage doing that, you just wanna go, oh, God, you know.
And our final competitor in this excellent class, competitor number 48, trains at the core fitness gym in Plymouth, a big hand for Paul Scarborough. Okay, lads, if you were to lead on in your correct order. Once again, we have fabulous audience. Could we have a little class, Mr. Class 4 on stage, please?
he's quite a natural, whereas I don't like being centre of attention. Tom absolutely thrives on it, so to see him up there posing and to see him and Paul kind of messing around on the stage trying to constantly get in front of each other, no, it was good. I was really proud of them. They both looked amazing, can't call it. There were some poses I thought, yeah, that's Tom's. And then the pose would change and I thought, no, nope, that's Paul's. And you can see the chemistry between them on the stage. And the banter was brilliant. And you could tell they were really enjoying themselves and I'm so proud of both of them. Brilliant, that was really good. I spoke to Jen afterwards, we were both cheering them on loads. And it's very touch and go. We both decided some shots might be Paul, some shots might be Tom's. So got away and see now for tonight's show. I think Tom's got it. I think he's got it. I think he won. Paul, very, very close second. Uh, fair play to the both of them, though. They both did look in great condition. But they both had very sparkly pants. <laughs> and as uh, what she said, Vicky said, yeah, cheap more mints. She was shouting out for Tom. <laughs> I'm struggling to keep my midsection, and I think, I think I let it go a couple of times. Um, it's just a food. I'm maybe not thinking that way. I don't think we had enough time from when we had the food. Because yeah. we come on and it was like supposed to be an hour. Yeah. And then they've got, oh, 10 minutes. But then Nava West is always like that. It's always like, yeah, you've got an hour. But they come back and say, oh, 10 minutes to go on stage. Um, I hate to call these things the man of my bravado earlier. But hopefully it's one, two. And then we'll go on to the Breton. I am going to have to go um, because. This little one's getting very bored and tired and fidgety, so I'm gonna take him home and the big one's gonna stay here with Paul. So I am gonna miss the night show, unfortunately, which I'm quite upset about. With judging over, it's time for the traditional refeed of fast food before the night show. I've never quite worked that one out because you've still got the evening show and although you've already been judged, you still want to look your best and the winner has still got to go on and compete for the overall. So I always think if you've resisted for six months, then surely you can resist for another few hours, but... Tell me what you've got on there from the deli menu. Tell me what you can serve me. If there's one thing that Jen will agree with me, I don't suffer fools when I'm prepping. You know, silly questions get the adequate response. Yeah, we don't have a uh, chicken legend. It's I don't, I don't know one. what that is. I, I, I don't know what okay, a chicken we legend have, is. Uh, any deli? Exhausted, hungry. knackered, hungry, disappointed. I've looked better than that. I've just looked a couple of pictures, and um, I look drier. I have looked drier. Um, not happy. Tom was more on point than me today. And that's just a fact. Um, no matter what anybody says, that's a fact. I've got five weeks to uh, bring it back and give him more of a challenge at the British. Around about half past four, five o'clock, um, I'll go and sit in my car. I, I tend to leave everybody, just go into the front seat of my car, recline it back, put a hat on so it covers my eyes and fall asleep. Aiden, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and have a bit of a rest in the car. Listen, you do, you stick around Nick, all right? I'm in charge. Usually, what happens is between the day show and the evening show, Paul doesn't speak to anyone. He goes to his car. He sort of puts his hoodie on. He puts his hood up, um, locks the car, and sleeps. <laughs> It's time for the night show, and after a sleep, Paul has returned feeling more positive. I guarantee you, when I step on the stage tonight, I'll be fuller and leaner and drier. Yeah, no, I think you've been told on yourself. Well, you can't say it because you, for the first fucking time, you're stood next to me. I, um, for a little bit of a time, had my head up my ass. Um, I was, I did what I normally did, do and then look at a couple of pictures and get myself all down and negative. Um, and here we are now, I'm in a much better um, mindset after speaking to Tom. The pose down at night is basically, it's the first opportunity really where you get to um, pose 
in whatever pose you want. Normally you're str strong poses against everybody that's in the class. But essentially, the, the pose down is just a bit of fun. It's entertainment for the crowd. Um, apart from the overall, there, are, there is no judging at the night show at all. So you could go off and eat 20 pizzas, gain 10 pounds of water, look shit, and still win, because you've already been judged. And if I can have 30 seconds music, and we have a pose down. Please, to be honest, it went down how I thought it would go down. Um, I was always behind Tom with condition, always. A blind man could have seen that. Fourth place, put your hands together for Gregorio Arroyo. So when I stood on stage with Paul um, and obviously the other guys in the class waiting to hear the result, um, you know, no, no disrespect to the other guys, but it was between me and Paul for first or second. Third place. Well done, well done. Andrew Smith. <laughs> second place, runner up class four, Mr. West Britain. Paul Scarborough. Class 4, 2015, from the Ministry of Fitness, Tom Blackman. Okay, can we have some poses then? The last time on the Nabba West stage, as a competitor, and I show it with my best mate, a deserved winner. And uh, it's just now my job to turn that that place in around for the Britain. But I enjoyed that. That was good. We had a laugh. It was good. Uh, stay by stage. The overall. Oh, she's, she got the text. silent because I'd put um, Joe to bed and I'd gone upstairs and had my phone on silent and I, I don't know, I might have already been asleep actually when he called, it was quite late wasn't it? Oh, she might be in bed I had actually found out on Facebook to be fair um, oh my god that sounds really bad doesn't it Four fantastic physiques. Each pro in their own right. So this year, overall, Mr. West Britain, 2015. Class three, Dean White. Yeah, the guy looked good. Deserved it. No complaints. I don't make 
I don't moan about judging and stuff like that. It is what it is, and on to the next one. I'm happy, and you know, Paul's a gracious in defeat, I'm sure, as I would be if he won. So, and I'm sure he's going to pull out all the stops of the British, which I, I hope he does, which he, I know you will. You know, we've been through the journey, and, and to me, the journey is important. And we've been through the journey together. Um, and I think we're closer as best mates now. Because even though the whole thing's been about, oh yeah, you know, who, who's the best, who's, who, who's gonna beat who and everything else. To be fair, it wasn't, it wasn't really like that. Um, it, if, if Paul had won and I'd come second, I would have been like, great, you know, my mates won, I'm second, fine. Let's go on to the Britain. Um, and I'm sure, Paul said the same. And it was very emotional, as, as you saw at the end of the day when he gave me my birthday present. We'd finally done something that we'd never done before and we will never oh, do yeah. again. Go? Sorry, I've got tears in my eyes already from the wind, by the way. This is your birthday present. <laughs> yeah, thinking back to it, it was, um, yeah, it was quite an emotional moment. Um, you know, I did, I did put a lot of effort into it, which is what, obviously, it did look as though I put a lot of effort into it, although I wrapped it in newspaper for a joke. Um, I think it just showed what, um, maybe how much thought I put into it, which was quite nice. I think that's what he appreciated. I'm 22 on Tuesday. <laughs> And it's not a piss take, it's an actual usable present. What you do, Paul can take it with him when he's out and about, and you put your eggs in the top and it, and it cooks it and it comes out like a lollipop. It's really? mint. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's what it is. So you can take it with you when you're driving around, and if you want your six egg omelette, you just put it in the top and it comes out. Really? Yeah, that's what it is. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay. Thank you.